Hello, my name is Steve Hart. I'm the technical lead for Google Plus Communities. And I'm particularly interested in electronic tools for democratic decision making. Particularly interested in systems called uh, liquid democracy systems. So uh, what are we talking about here? The, the general space, we've got a group of people and they want to make decisions on an issue. This could be a small group of people, a local volunteer organization, could be something bigger, a parent-teacher association or, or a government body of some sort. And uh, what we have available now is generally a choice between direct democracy or representative democracy systems. Now, direct democracy systems, everybody votes on everything. And uh, this is great for control, accountability, but it, it doesn't scale very well. You, you don't have time or expertise to vote on everything. So we generally go to a representative democracy system where you elect someone to make decisions for you. And this has problems with uh, transparency, accountability. You can get um, distortions from the election process itself. And uh, a lot of the times when people are complaining about politics, they're often really complaining about aspects of representative democracy. Now, a liquid democracy system kind of combines the best of both, both worlds. The idea here is that everybody can be a politician, and you use an electronic tool to, for people to manage delegations to, from peer to peer. And these delegations can be transitive. So for example, this, uh, the woman in the green circle there has a number of people delegating to her, so she acts much like a representative in that she has a lot of power and a lot of people trust her. But very quickly, if she abuses her power, people will de-delegate away from her. Now, uh, liquid democracy ideas have been around for a while, but social networking technology is new and it makes it more practical. So an analogy I like to use is with an electric network and a social network. Now, an electric network can carry either information or power, you know, ethernet or you know, high voltage cables whereas social networks generally only carry information. Now, liquid democracy on social network says we're gonna flow power as well. We're gonna use your social network to flow decision-making authority from peer to peer to vote on things. Okay, so I'm an engineer at Google. I'm like, this is cool. Got a few buddies together and let's say, let's build one. So this is a, an experiment called Google Votes that we put together. It's for Google employees only. It's to internal to Google, and we built it on the Google Plus corporate social network. And, and we got some good results. We got about 15,000 Googlers to cast votes. Uh, one thing we found is you kind of need to build the voting infrastructure before you can build delegation on top of it. So um, we, we did that, and then when we've got about 400 people delegating and able to flow votes, we made a number of decisions like voting on cafe names, food products, um, some logos, a lot of kind of internal stuff. Anyway, uh, I have a, have a booth over on the demo table during the lunch hour, so please come by and I'll give you a demo and show you, show you more if you'd like. Thank you.